While we have already looked at the philosophy of looking at the universe as a giant computer or a complex software program, let's go deeper and find out more about simulation theory and its comparison with the Hindu concept of Maya along with the movie Matrix. The simulation hypothesis is a philosophical concept that suggests that our reality, including the entire universe, could be a computer simulation or a simulated construct created by a more advanced civilization or higher intelligence. The hypothesis proposes that what we perceive as physical reality is, in fact, a digital simulation with simulated beings, objects, and environments. Here are some key points related to the simulation hypothesis. 1. Origins of the hypothesis. The simulation hypothesis has gained attention in recent years, but its origins can be traced back to philosophical ideas about the nature of reality, such as Descartes' concept of an evil demon deceiving our perceptions. 2. Technological advancement. The hypothesis suggests that if a highly advanced civilization possesses the capability to create a realistic simulation of reality, it is plausible that they could create a simulation complex enough to fool its inhabitants into believing it is the true reality. 3. Simulation parameters. According to the hypothesis, our reality would be governed by specific rules, laws of physics, and parameters programmed into the simulation by the simulating entity. These parameters would define the behavior of matter, energy, and other fundamental aspects of our universe. For unexplained phenomena, proponents of the simulation hypothesis argue that certain unexplained phenomena or anomalies in our reality, such as the fine-tuning of physical constants or quantum indeterminacy, could be attributed to the limitations or design choices of the simulation. 5. The scientific challenges. The simulation hypothesis is currently a speculative concept without direct scientific evidence to support or refute it. It falls outside the scope of empirical scientific investigation, as it pertains to metaphysical and philosophical questions about the nature of reality. 6. Philosophical implications. The simulation hypothesis raises profound questions about the nature of consciousness, free will, the nature of existence, and our place in the universe. It sparks philosophical debates about the ultimate nature of reality and our understanding of the universe. It's important to note that the simulation hypothesis remains a topic of philosophical speculation and debate. While it may be intriguing to consider, scientists and philosophers continue to explore and discuss the nature of reality using empirical methods, theoretical frameworks, and ongoing investigations into the laws of physics and the workings of the universe. Let's compare it with the Hindu concept of Maya. The simulation theory and the Hindu concept of Maya share some similarities in their exploration of the nature of reality and the idea that our perception of the world may be illusory or deceptive. Here are some connections between the two, one, illusion of reality. In both the simulation theory and the concept of Maya, there is a recognition that the reality we perceive may not be the ultimate truth. It suggests that what we experience as the physical world is a constructed illusion or a veil that hides a deeper reality. 2. Veiling and Manifestation Maya, in Hindu philosophy, is often described as the veiling power that creates the illusion of separateness and multiplicity in the world. Similarly, the simulation theory proposes that our reality is a constructed simulation that veils a deeper reality. 3. Limitations of Perception Both concepts acknowledge the limitations of human perception in comprehending the true nature of reality. They highlight that our senses and cognitive abilities may not provide us with direct access to the ultimate reality beyond the illusions or simulations we perceive. For Layers of Existence, Maya, in Hindu philosophy, is seen as operating on multiple levels or layers of existence. Similarly, the simulation theory suggests the existence of a simulated reality that may be nested within a larger framework or higher dimensional structure. 5. Quest for Liberation In Hinduism, the ultimate goal is to transcend the illusory nature of Maya and attain liberation moksha, by realizing one's true nature beyond the realm of appearances. The simulation theory, while not explicitly addressing liberation, raises questions about the nature of consciousness and the possibility of transcending simulated realities. It's important to note that Maya in Hindu philosophy has broader metaphysical and spiritual implications beyond the concept of a computer-generated simulation. Maya encompasses the entire cosmic illusion, including the interplay of consciousness, karma, and the nature of existence. The simulation theory, on the other hand, focuses more narrowly on the possibility of our reality being a simulated construct. 
While there are similarities between the simulation theory and the concept of Maya, it's crucial to recognize that they arise from different cultural, philosophical, and scientific contexts. They offer distinct frameworks for contemplating the nature of reality and the illusory nature of our perceptions. And now let's see its comparison with the cult movie from Warner Brothers Pictures, The Matrix from 1999. It was directed by the Wachowskis and starring Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, Lawrence Fishburne among others. The movie may itself be inspired to some extent from the concept of Maya. The simulation theory, which aligns with some concepts explored in the movie The Matrix, proposes that our reality is a computer-generated simulation or a virtual construct. While the movie itself is a work of science fiction, it draws inspiration from philosophical ideas and the simulation hypothesis. Here are some connections between the simulation theory and the matrix. 1. Illusion of reality. In the matrix, humans are unknowingly living in a simulated reality created by machines. Similarly, the simulation theory suggests that our reality may be an elaborate illusion or virtual construct, indistinguishable from what we perceive as the real world. 2. Simulated world. Both the simulation theory and the matrix suggest the existence of a simulated world where the laws of physics, environment, and even our own identities are artificially constructed and controlled by a higher entity. 3. Questioning reality. The matrix prompts characters to question the nature of their reality and the possibility that it is an illusion. Similarly, the simulation theory invites philosophical inquiries into the true nature of the world we experience and the possibility that it could be a simulation. For freedom and control, in the movie, the protagonists seek to break free from the control of the simulated reality and regain their freedom. This resonates with the idea that if our reality is a simulation, we may question the extent of our free will and autonomy within the predetermined parameters of the simulation. The Matrix serves as a fictional exploration of these ideas, offering a thought-provoking narrative and raising philosophical questions about the nature of reality, perception, and human existence. This is really interesting and sort of a cerebral philosophy if you ponder over the thought for some time which leads to the idea that we are, but just a small piece of an enormous puzzle. The question remains, which pill will you take? Please like subscribe and keep learning.